Wagwan people, we are back. Ripping City episode 16. I'm getting straight into it. Short intro. I'm already producing some players. We found a new brother. Wagwan, everyone, welcome to the channel. All that kind of rubbish. We are straight into it. We needed the left mid, and I found this guy. I'm Finko Pululu. That's right. The ladies go ooh ooh for I think Pululu on our left wing. Yes, brother. 23 year old. No idea what his overall rating is. I just got faith. I did it with Lima. I just threw it out there. And I went, you know what, Lima? You're the bad kind of dude. And he turned out to be 74 rated left back. So I did the same thing. I scouted him a little bit. I didn't have enough time left in the transfer window to scout him fully. This brother wants some serious wages. I'm hoping he's got, I mean, he's got some talent, but I needed two left midfielders. I'm going to play Arango and Shalinski as my right wingers. I wanted two natural left footed midfielders. And Palulu signed on the dotted line. Our second one was Thies de Boa, 18-year-old Dutch. And this guy looks like St. Maximin when he plays. Honestly, this guy is so entertaining to play. But another free agent. I mean, I have, honestly, the free agent king. I've managed to sign Collins for 1.9 million, I do believe, buyout clause. The rest have all been free transfers. Steinski, Blumen, who else the hell did we buy? I have no clue who we bought this season before. Lima, all them old brothers have all been... Three transfers, all been trialists. Let's go. So, the first game we played off camera was Rotherham. Uh, this is always going to be a tough one. Rotherham should be fighting for promotion, to be fair. And to be honest, they took the lead after five minutes. What a volley. Passed our new goalkeeper, son of a. Yeah, that's it. Our new goalkeeper, son of a. That's what I'm going to call him. A Rotherham scored left. Oh, I'm Rathbone. What the hell? Left Pegasus. <laughs> but. We made a sterner stuff now. And Pululu, on his debut, assisted the backstick. And Yaganag, Konnichiwa, Bonsai, brother. Backstick header from Yanagi. Made it one all. A Japanese freight trainer right back doing his thing. One of the last few Japanese brothers we've got left. A few of them left us, or Kanabori left us. I can't believe their brother left. And then from then, right before half time, Stainski now playing on the right wing on his natural foot. Beasting and a feasting. And toe poked it in. 80s old school toe poke with the front of his school shoes, right into the top bins, and we were 2-1 up against Rot before half time. Beautiful thing, it's a beautiful thing. And Lima, again, has got a different hair colour. Every week, Lima's hair changes colour. I ain't lying, it was blonde last episode. What the hell's going on? I don't know if FIFA's glitching, or he's just got some kind of weird card where his hair changes, but Lima's hair is now ginger. And then Demir made it 3-1 after 66 minutes. You can't stop the midfield maestro. The midfielder of the year last season in League 2. He's beasted and feasted in League One. So, a massive 3 1 win against Rotherham. We had Sutton United at home. And I feel confident against these teams that are kind of a mix of League Two, League Ones. Like I said, it's your Hulls, your Rotherhams, and stuff that I was more fearful of. And Sutton United were put to the sword straight away after four minutes. Ricky! Doing his thing still. Ricky J. Jones may say he's the fourth choice goalkeeper. Uh, goalkeeper? The Rats am I smoking? The fourth choice striker. But he still does the business. And 27 minutes in, Ricky sent Deboa through. And look at his brother. I swear down, De Boer, honestly, he's like our, he's like our brother Shakiri. He looks like Shakiri. Look at him. Honestly, I've never had so much fun with a winger than this guy. He is so good to play on this game. Honestly, I know he's a free agent. I don't know who the hell he's a carbon copy of. But this dude, Deboa, is the business. Him and Poulos is a pillar, pillar, pillar. Honestly, a beast and a feasted. And then Ricky made it 3 and left the 35 minutes. I'm thinking, my goodness, we're going to absolutely annihilate this league. Like I said, there's a good four or five teams that are championship to League One level. And there's a massive load of teams that are kind of League One, League Two level. And I think them ones we can beat comfortably and get in the playoffs. It's the bigger teams we've got to win, like the Rotherhams and stuff. So we are beasting and feasting so far. The formation's working beautifully. Uh, and then we have the cheek to make it 4 0. Why not, brothers? Another finish in there. And Ricky was doing his business today. Ricky J. Jones stepping in into the fold and getting himself a hat trick. Ricky! Beautiful scene, beautiful scene. So after beating Sutton United 4 0 and beating Rotherham 3 1, we then went to Ipswich. Another one of them teams saying should be championship level, really. Another tough game. But what can I say? I am a tactical genius and Pululu, another free agent signing, beasting and feasting all the way through. I'll have a look at his uh, stats at the end of the game. I think I think I think I recorded that bit, so we'll have a look at that anyway and show you what their overall rating is. You still don't know what their rating is, to be fair. But Pululu got his first goal for the club at Portman Road and we won the up against Ipswich early doors. And that one turned into two. Hodgson laid him through and Pululu's in again. Left Pegasus of Dreams on oh, top indeed. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. At this point, I'm crying on the bench with happiness. I can't believe it. Don't cry for me, Ipswich Town. The truth is I know the transfer market. Every free agent, I will sign and kick your ass. And again, move back inside. Who's at his spin move? Inside, Hodgson, the CDM for some reason. Oh, took a dramatic dive. That's, that's year nine GCC diving right there. <laughs> my goodness, give this guy a part in our fellow. Making Macbeth, my lordy. And the red car completely changed the game. It's such a chasing it. We were comfortable. And our Jamaican brother Moore, don't forget about him. Don't sleep on Moore. He may be 60 rated, but the Jamaican brother still here doing his thing and doing the Ronaldo celebration. Bro, you're not that good. You can't do it. But okay, I'll let you off with it. So Moore made it 3-0. And my goodness, we have got a squad to be reckoned with. And bear in mind, Bar Hodgson, Wesley, and... Who the hell is that? I can't remember now. Some other brother. Guy, that's it. Everybody else is under 20 years old. And then Palulu. Mind you, he's 23. Palulu in the cross and Kuzatis made it 4-0. Let the league know we're here and we're about business. Look at that. That's ruthless. Kuzatis didn't even want to celebrate. He wanted to get the ball back to get more goals. That guy is ruthless. So, regular boy gaming, 50 career wins. That's right, brothers. I've only been in this football for one season. I got 50 wins already. That's right. So, to our main games now, we've got Wickham Wanderers and we've got Wigan, I do believe. I think I said the last episode. So, we're kicking it off with Wickham. That's right. They've got a duck blue platypus for some reason. There's a badge. I don't know what the hell that is. It's a swan. What is it? Goose? What the hell? Either way, we're going to eat that damn swan. Uh, Cuvetes is on the bench. That Colombian brother we signed. Cristianis is on there. Debo makes the bench as well. Rango. I mean, the bench is just amazing. Last season, we struggled with the second string of lads. This year, we're beasting a feast. And Suzuki's back in the starting lineup. Pululu makes his debut with Starinsky on the right. I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful squad. It's a beautiful squad. All right, here's Hodgson inside to Kuzatis. And I think next season, my weakest point is probably Yanagi and Wesley. They're the lowest rated players in my team now, but they still play brilliantly. But I think a marquee right back is needed if we go to the championship next season. There's Lees! <laughs> I'm, I'm talking quite into the future. I mean, to be fair, we're about six, seven episodes away from league <laughs> finishing League One. We may not even go up yet, but I'm that confident. I'm already talking about signings for the next transfer window or two. Other than that, I think we've got a young enough squad to rock with for a couple of years, to be fair. Michael Jackson's that I want to rock with you all night. There's you in the championship. All right, nice little ball inside. Kuzatis to Leeds. The bad, bad, bad. Tell him in Pinnis. 1 0 already. Kiss my booty, Wickham. Another team that have flirted with championship football. Come back down again and getting tonked by this new team in the league. Beautiful move inside. Palulu to Kuzatis to Leeds. And a calm finish as you like this, brothers. Like a monk in front of the goal. My lordy. Here's Lima now. They're getting the Brazilian that changes haircut every week to Leeds. Spin back outside to Kuzatis. He's blocked out of the way. We can clear their lines now. Nice little ball across to Hanlon. He's on his own. What the hell was the marking? Hanlon's got some pace to burn. Oh my goodness, like the new Akin Fenway. But look at Guy again. Beautiful. One of the originals still keeping his place in the team to Hodgson. Another original to Lees now. We've got Kuzatis as runners. We've got Starinsky on the right. No one's marking him. Gone inside to Lees. Beautiful ball from Lees to Kuzatis and a good save from the keeper. And that's what I'm talking about. Why is the keeper like a damn cat burglar? All black in black. What the hell's going on? But that's what I said about Lees, playing that camp position. The brother can pass as well. Here's Hanlon, out wide to Hogan. Remember, Wickham are a dangerous team still. They've got a good squad. But look at that defending again from Collins. The brother stepped in from Germany this season. Fitted in brilliantly. The only person we paid money for, remember, as well. Now, here's Hodgson. The CDM nicely done outside to Steinsky. What can he do? Can he whip one in? No, he goes onto his left. Pegasus back to Hodgson. He's been in the goals recently. Hodgson deflected. And away for a corner. Three minutes to go till half time. And that is the halftime whistle. Why the rats are just... <laughs> Why was that edited in? Oh my goodness. What was this? Why have I got this in here? Oh my lord. The, the glitch in the matrix. Don't worry about that, bro. That's fine. Don't worry about that. It's okay. It's okay. I'll speak to the editing department next week. Don't worry about that. Okay. Someone's getting fired. We've got a couple of work experience lads in this week. And that's why it's got all to pop. Let's get into the second half though, brothers. Okay. Here's a beater. Nicely done by Steinsky again. It's Hodgson, sorry, to Steinsky now. Lees is making that run. Kuzatis making the overlapping run. Nice little ball inside. There's the Greek freak. Nice little touch. Can he get that, Kuzatis? Ooh. And good goalkeeping by Catwoman, by looks like. <laughs> it's like Halle Berry, Batman. What the hell's going on? All right, here's Kuzatis to Yanagi. He knows they're going to try to sell him at the end of the season. His brother's trying to get involved in every little attacking piece we do. Spin move from Kuzatis. Referee blowing down whistle. In the end, the ball's cleared out. Only as far as them here, beautifully. Kuzatis, we've got to move inside. It's Hodgson again with the Ross. You do not there, Hodgson. And again, the Catwoman makes a save. 
But Kuzatis scores and it's 2 0. Even Halle Berry can't save Wickham. Kuzatis with the second after Hodgson shot rebound in front of him. And Rip and City are beating in the face and again. We can only afford 50 seats in the whole crowd, but my lord, we've got a squad to burn. Beautiful save, but what a rebound finish from Kuzatis. Half an hour left to go. We're looking comfortable now against Wickham. We needed that second goal to be fair, but here's Demir. Nicely done. We're just out playing teams in League One. Ball around the back. Here's Lees. Beautiful spin move. Has a shot with left Pegasus. And Halle Berry makes the save again. Let's make some changes. Bring the Brazilian, uh, Belgium on. Christianas and Hogan. And what I did, to be fair, I, I keep saying I spent my money on Collins. I bought Collins 1.9 million and then I spent 1.7 million on a really, really good scout. We've got a four star, four star scout now for the Youth Academy. I hope we can deal on that. And there's Lees. Oh, good save on the keeper. And again, because every season it seems to be I can only spend so much, but I've got to keep my transfer budget. And I want to keep my job. I want to keep the objectives going. The veteran one, I don't think we can do, even with the wages, even the free agent, 80 rated to be struggling to get, I think, to the club. But um, other than that, all the objectives I think will fit. There's Lees again. Oh, he's done it. <laughs> it's 3 0. And for some reason, the goalkeeper that's wearing all latex gimp suit decided to put some blooming <laughs> lube on it. So I don't know what the hell's going on there. Went straight through him. Oh, my goodness. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Lord have mercy. You won't be sat on your damn living room floor doing commentating on FIFA games. What the hell's going on in my life? <laughs> it's Christianas. Let's go. We've got another three ball. Aran goes in. Do you imagine, Argentinian brother? Aran off the post. Nearly got his first goal for the club looking like Canelo, the boxer. What the hell? Four minutes to go now. We're three up against Wickham. We're beasting and feasting as always. Here's Debar. Debar? It's like a cheap version of Debar. What the hell's going on? It's Kakai. He's going to do later cross. Oh, Wickham have got one back. Oh, Suzuki be disappointed. You don't want to concede when you've got my other goalkeeper, son of a bee, on the bench. But Wickham are back in it. Probably too little, too late. It's 3-1, but Wickham have something for their fans at least. And we haven't kept a clean sheet. Damn. Oh, blow the damn Wessel referee. And it is. It's 3-1. That's a massive win against another promotions chasing team. Out of League One, a rip and look the business. We look like we can score, outscore any team in this league. And like I say, defensively we've been good up until today. But we didn't look that bad, to be fair. We didn't concede many shots. Let's get into this. Headlines after the game. We've got Lee's performance and his two goals sealed the victory. What's your thoughts about your star man? All right, the boy's a genius. And the fact that he's a local boy, he's a rip and boy, makes it twice as good, brothers. He'll be here forever. I'm not selling him. Tough to crap. Another great result for your boys. The team looks like it's in the, what, the habit of winning at the moment. How long do you think this run can go? Um, how long's a piece of string, bro? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. We'll keep doing what we're doing day in, day out, and keep working hard to get them Ws. That's all I can say. Up against Wickham Wanderers, this seemed like a hard game to call. You must be delighted with the win. We're always confident you come out on top. Um, I must admit, I've kind of gone Galacticos a little bit with these youngsters. I've I built a squad of 18-year-olds that are beasting. And then we've got our guy, our captain, we've got Hodgson in midfield yeah, backing him up. Thanks. Yeah, good number three questions. I'm out. Take it easy, Chuck Weezy. All right, so Lee's top goal scorer in League One at the moment, playing as Cam. That's right, I'm a tactical bloody genius. Oh, my lordy. Let's get into this. So, Wigan now waiting. Now, this again, another one of them teams. Like I said, you've kind of got six or seven teams in League One that are kind of championship League One. And then you've got about 18 teams. 18? What the hell am I doing my maths? How many teams are in League One? <laughs> You've got the other rest that are kind of a mixture of League 1 to League 2 level. So, like I say, if we get wins against the big ones, Wickham, Rotherham, Hull that beat us, obviously, Wigan, um, them types of teams, Blackpool, we're in for a shout for promotion this season. We really are. And again, the team, like I said, just once the cohesion kicks in a little bit like it has done recently, they honestly, they're impressing me massively. Let's get into this. Here's Wigan now, though. Corona outside to Dariqua. Back inside to Corona. Outside to Edwards. This nice little move from Wigan. And again, they've got a little bit more pace than us today. But there we go. Nice defending again at the back by Yanagi. I must admit, Yanagi's keeping Wesley out of the team. Uh, who we got on a free transfer swap deal for uh, Stanley Wright last season. Ball comes across again. Yanagi doesn't win the header. No, it's Lee past the keeper. And Wigan lead. And rip and find themselves in a strange situation. Actually behind in a game. A looping header. And we're going to wander up at their home ground. All right. I see. I see. It's like that, is it? All right. Kuzatis out wide to Rango. Still hasn't. Oh, he has learned that right wing now. So he's now a right winger for us. Nice little ball inside, though, to the Yanagi. Okay, touch inside to Demir. What can the Turkish Maestro do? Find Kuzatis. His nice move is Lee's again. Back inside. Kuzatis lost his marker. Kuzatis, and it's 1 1. 
It took a matter of minutes for Ripon to equalise. And they sliced right through the middle of Wigan. And Ripon are back in this game. Lees and Kuzatis doing their thing. And again, Kuzatis dropping off the striker. They're just not following the markers. Beautiful. All right, eight minutes to go till half-time. Demir, nice little ball inside to Hodgson. Inside again, beautiful touch from Kuzatis. He tried to chip the keeper. Oh, and Jones stood his ground. Good football from Ripon into the second half now. Been quite an even game since then. Not many chances for either team. Both teams cancelling each other out so far. Here's De Boer, the 18-year-old winger. What can he do? Nice little ball out wide to Lima. Another hair colour, another day for Lima. Ball's whipped across. There's Hodgson. Oh, going back stick. And Wigan again just clearing their lines. Oh my goodness, we're throwing bodies into the box now. 25 minutes left to play. It's been mainly ripping this second half of possession. Here's Lima. Again, nicely done by the... Oh, my referee! What kind of liberties? Second yellow card for it, but then we're going to down to 10 men. What was Callum Lang thinking? He's now trying to turn and go to the referee, but <laughs> Nobby Solano's having none of it. And we're going to now down to 10 men. Could be a game changer. Can rip and take advantage of this 10 man situation. Here's Christianans. What can he do? Nice little spin from the Belgium to Lees. We've got runners again. We're trying to find Ricky J. Jones. Takes the side. Ricky J. Jones, he's done it. <laughs> when called upon. Ricky comes to good. You can call on me. Ricky. Did it again. Ricky J. Jones. Little spin move. He's on for Kuzatis. To Lees. Back to Ricky. Goes round the defence. And we're going to finally broken down. That 10 men situation is punishing them. His Cufrientes. The Colombian trying to find Lees. We had Ricky J. Jones open again. Can we can find an equaliser out of nowhere? Naylor to Asgard. Back to Naylor again. They're struggling to find feet. Ripon has got to hold their line. There we go. A lovely tackle again. Now here's Lees. Just turns and runs at defenders. Switches it out. And there's De Boer. Go on, lads. Swing them down the legs, De Boer. The Dutchman, De Boer. Lays it back across. Christian's the Belgium. It's deflected. Oh, Ricky can't find the rebound. Should have been three. Here's Wigan one more time. Oh, my goodness. Wigan had a chance last second. But we hold on for a 2-1 victory. Oh, beautiful. A massive, massive win against another promotion station team. Don't get me wrong, we've got to play all these teams again at some point in the second half of the season. But we have started off League One like a house on fire. All right, interview time again. Another great result for your boys today. The team looks like I have a habit of winning at the moment. How long do you think this run can go? How long do you think you can ask me the same bloody questions, bro? Uh, the team is in great form, I must admit. We've got to keep this and grab as many points as we can. Don't get me wrong, we'll all hit a bad patch, but at the moment we're looking good. Just one goal between the teams in the end, and you've come away with the win. Thanks to the second half strike, do you feel that like you're comfortable, or did you get nervous? Um, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, brother. I, I, I did nearly crap myself a little bit towards the end, that little shot at the end, you know what I mean? <laughs> I did a little, little win it in my pants, but other than that, I think I was cool. You managed to get the uh, deciding goal and the win in the end. They didn't see much between the teams ahead of the game. Do you think God was confident you'd come out on top? Yeah, I have faith in my boys. No matter where we go, away from home, at home, I have faith in this squad. They're going to go very far as footballers, okay? So, keep an eye out. Alright, cool. Take it easy. So, next, oh, we'll have a look. We are top of the league. Four points ahead of Rotherham. My lord, we are beasts and feasts. We've still got the likes of Charlton to play, though. And Blackpool, like I said. The next episode will be Burton Albion. Uh, Oxford, sorry. Uh, Accrington Stanley, Fleetwood. Uh, I do believe that's Lincoln. And then Cardiff. Oh, my goodness. Cardiff might be a cup game, no? Oh, no, it's league away. Okay, okay. So, a little look at the teams. Um, 69 rated now, Leeds. Because that is now 71. Beautiful. Palulu was 71 rated. That's one of them I was going to tell you about. <coughs> I forgot to tell you before. Oakley's from my youth academy. So, again, we're going to... He's leaving, I think. A little bit. Pereira's going to leave soon. Harper's youth academy. going to loan him out. Same with Haynes and Hodgson. Demir is now a CM. I should make him a cam again now. Christianus was 67 rated. Sainz is 67. De Boer, 68 rated. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. 18 years old. Oh, Salabar again a young lad. Cufuentes, he met in the last one as well. So I think we're done transfer-wise now. I think the squad looks good. So smash the rasa like button, brothers, for this great start to League One. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. Wagwan, welcome to the channel. Really like the video. It does help a lot for this channel. And I'll see you next week, brothers. In the meantime, peace and love, brothers and sisters. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.